Okay, here we go. I don't know how well you can see that. The light in here is not that great, but that's the way it is. This is the tinker board. See the size of the CPU, the processor, which is a rock chip, I believe. This is a quad core arm. It's a 1.2. This is 1.8. And they get a lot more bang out of their buck, out of their 1.2. This one's also got bigger, um, as far as, this one will play a, uh, a full screen video. So my experience with Asus, number one, when you want to download the software off the website, it works very fast. Um, it'll play a full screen video, which and it'll stay up. And thirdly, it will um, um, yeah, those work fast. What's the other one? It has two. It has two uh, uh, operating systems uh, that that come right off the website that you you can be a stone idiot and do. Where with uh, with uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, you have to be kind of conversant in computers to do it. Now, let's get this thing fired up real quick. I'm going to show you this. And explain a little more. Now, I got on the website. I tried to get on. Anyway, okay, we're good. It's booting up. I don't know if you see it. There's a red light and a yellow light. That's showing the yellow light is booting. The red light says it's getting power. Now, I tried to run Debian with this bad boy. And the, it was too big for the screen. I couldn't get it to work on the screen. All right, they wants me to set up. I don't want to set this up. I want to show you this real quick. See that? This one works fine. Now, it's actually 6.50. It does tell the time. It needs. I need to set the time zone. I need to go through there and select the keyboard layout. I need to select it. I actually need to set the computer up. I was complaining that it didn't work well when I didn't set it up. So that's on me. Now, the problem I'm having with Debian is the same problem I'm having with this one, where a good screen would work. They did diagnose that for me. It won't fit in the screen. But the Raspberry Pi doesn't have any of those types of problems. It fixes all that. When you play videos on YouTube, they they don't they'll they're very unstable. You'll just you'll barely touch the keyboard and it'll pop it'll pop down, and you don't know where it is and you can't find the the video, you can't find the screen. It, the windows don't work properly, uh, but the videos play and they play full screen, which they don't play full screen on this machine. I think this is all software issues because if if you if you've got hardware and it'll play a video, it's got the horsepower to do it. It just doesn't have the drivers are not yet, so they still need to work on that. Now, as far as their staff, they seem they appear like they're in India, Pakistan, and they don't articulate back your problem to you that they're trying to fix. And they took a lot of breaks and they didn't really explain it to me. And I was irritated and two people hung up on me. Um, so they did try. They did make an attempt. I could call back and work at it some more. But I asked them a simple question, which one I should download off the Android. And they didn't tell me which update. I asked them like four times and they couldn't do it. So that's on them. I mean, they should have known. Shouldn't know how to do that. So in any case, uh, you better be real patient if you get a take tinker board or really smart, which is good. The Raspberry Pi, you don't have to be too bright, but it doesn't have the horsepower. Bye-bye.